Will Burback is a guide that I've known for probably six years now. I mean, Will and I have fished Boca Grande next to each other. We fish multi, uh, a lot of media events together. We've done some TV together. Will's a good dude. And Will would tell me that during a certain time of the year, the tarpon will actually push up into his waters back up in Tampa in like two feet. And he's like, you sight cast pinfish at him. And I was like, what? That's awesome. Because generally in Boca Grande, you know, we're dropping a crab anywhere from 70 to 40 feet straight up and down on the school. So I was like, bro, this sounds awesome. Let's go sight cast some tarpon. So we drove up to see Will. And of course he didn't disappoint. First light, we saw him everywhere. Right in front of us, sitting under there. See him right there? One just rolled. I think you're gonna hook up first, Will. There we go. That's a stud. I made my first cast, my first pitch. Saw him steaming down. Hooked him up. He went jumping, man. And boy, the first jump must have been 10 foot. Next jump, probably eight foot, but sideways, went vertical with it. Still got him. There, you got me. So that was a burner on the first fish. Second fish though, saw him right there on the side scan. Um, there was actually three popping up to the left. Will said, make a pitch. I literally was like, I'm on. And he was like, hammer down. So I hammered down on the fish. Got him. So these fish like to go into the school, even on the flats like they do where we're normally at a boca. Yeah, this one's probably more honestly just working the flat and we're just going through where they're mostly laying, like tarping there, tarping off the bow. It's crazy how you keep seeing them as you're fighting them. It's like, I want to get this one in if I can hook another. Yeah. I got that magic time going. One of the reasons we bow on the jump is because their jaw is actually pointed upwards and their whole lower jaw is actually one giant bone. So when we jump them, we actually try to give them that slack for it doesn't break you off. Oh man, I love this fish. This fish is just, it's my favorite fish. I mean, Will, I mean, you get the luxury like I do to chase a lot of different species and this one. Nothing better, brother. Nothing better, man. Nothing better. She kind of rolled on the line. This fish just worked me. I mean, I fought a lot of tarpon in my life, and this particular fish must have known it was on TV because it did not want to look bad. I mean, it got itself stuck in the prop, ran underneath the boat, got itself stuck in the trolling motor. I mean, it was everywhere zigzagging. Gosh, it's close. It's on the boat side right here. Yeah, she's not done. It was the first tarpon Will and I have done together. It's the first tarpon I've gotten that far north. I mean, we got this drag locked. It's tight. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, another tarpon. Shoot off. You see that? <laughs> Keep the rod low. Oh, you definitely screwed up. Way low. Way low. Shove it. Shove it. Shove it. Hold on. <laughs> Just relax. It's getting run like this the whole fight. You got in the motor, I feel like? I so. Hold on. Which way are we going? Let me see it real quick. Yeah, it was open. Oh, she's not on ass. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're good. Let's not do that again. Will and I have a lot of experience with these fish with our clients. We know, you know, towards the end of the fight, if you get that head turned, you know, that fish feels like it got beat. That's what we're trying to do to her here, but she is just not letting. There you go. There you go. See some color there. She didn't like that. Stay with her. Oh, yeah. Here we go again, huh? <laughs> Oh, get it up, get it down, down, down. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, over here. 
Come on! Go back to the left now. Completely stop her. There you go. Now you're hurting her. Now you're hurting her. And come back to the right now. Last ditch, ditch effort right here, huh? She's like giving, she's giving everything she got, brother. I know you be in there pumping that iron. There you go, bring her over here to me. Yeah, just keep keep going. Oh, the sun. Not yet. Oh, hold on, not yet. It makes me smile because I can chase that fish anywhere. And it's still got the same brute and force no matter where I chase it at. I mean, it just does. So their dorsal fin is actually their biggest fin on their body. And you can see it come all the way up here. It On the bigger females, their tail will actually, their dorsal will reach all the way to their back fin. Just a phenomenal fish. You know, it's been dated with fossils that they found that this fish has been around since the prehistoric times. And you can just tell it is one giant dinosaur. I mean, look at the giant plate here, giant plate here, giant plate here. And if you rub the edge of their gill, it is very, very sharp. I mean, you could almost skin something with it. It's so sharp. Oh, love this fish, man. Will. Magical, brother. Dude. But he's got a little hitchhiker. He does have a little hitchhiker. Dude, I really appreciate this. Man. Yeah, bro. Anytime. You know, one of the things that makes Boca Grande so special at that time of the year is you've got all these individuals. I mean, I've been seeing these people now for decades, some of them. We all fish a couple feet away from each other for those three months, day in. Some of us even there at night. You build this relationship, you build this bond with these people, this friendship, this communication. And there's just nothing like it in the world that I've ever experienced that you can have individuals from all different aspects of life come together in that moment of time and have the same goal, the same drive, the same passion. And you never even meet these people on land. Half of them you never see at a restaurant having a beer. It's phenomenal that you can just fish close to these people year after year and become just great friends with them. You know, there's something about that, that silver chase that just keeps you going day in, day out. That grind is so worth it. There's nothing better, there's nothing better. Boca Grande has shown over the years is it's a group of people with the same passion that just want to fly some silver. Let me tell you, I can't wait for tarpon season 2021.